What's up you friggin' geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to cover a bunch of examples on how to identify like terms because they can get kind of tricky sometimes, but I'm going to break it down as easily as I can and I think it's going to be really helpful. Also, if you need a little intro into like terms, I'll link that video in the card above. But if you think you're good and just want the examples, let's just jump straight into them. Okay, so I'm going to start off by showing you a list of terms like the ones I have up here. And then we're going to do kind of a little matching game and figure out if we can match any of these up and call them like terms or if they're too different and they're not like terms. Okay, so here's our list of terms. We have 17n squared, 4, 9n squared, y squared, and y cubed. All right, so let's try to match these up with their like term. Okay, so first of all, we have 17. So as you can see, 17 is just a number, right? So we have to match it up with something else that's just a number, which would be 4, okay? So 17 and 4 are like terms. Okay, so we're done with those. Now let's move on to this one, n squared. So we have to find something that doesn't just have an n, but specifically an n squared. So that would be this one right here, right? So n squared and 9n squared. So these are like terms. And again, why are they like terms? Well, we have this variable that doesn't have a coefficient next to it. So that means there must be a one right there, right? Okay, so we have different coefficients here. So we have a one and a nine, but again, the coefficients don't matter. Does not matter whatsoever. What matters is that they have the same variable and the same amount of the variable, right? So here we have one times n times n, and then here we have nine times n times n. So they both have n's, but most importantly, they both have the same amount of n's, right? So this one has two n's, and so does this one. So these are both like terms. Okay, so we're done with those two. Now, these last two, we have y squared and y cubed. Are those like terms? Well, they both have a y, but do they have the same amount of y's? Well, y squared, that's the same thing as y times y. y cubed is the same thing as y times y times y. We have two here, we have three here, so no, those are not like terms, right? And again, you can easily tell that just right off the bat by looking at their exponents. So since their exponents don't match, you know that these are not like terms. Okay, so here's our list of numbers this time. Negative 100, 3y, x squared, y times 3, negative 4, x squared, and 19. Okay, so let's start here. Negative 100, what would match up with that? Well, negative 100, it's just a number, right? It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, it's just a number. So what we're looking for is another term that is just a number. So that would simply be right here, 19. That is just a number. So negative 100, and 19 are like terms, okay? Let's move on to the next one. 3y, and we're looking for another y, so it'd be this one, y times three. Okay, so we have 3y and y3. Okay, are these like terms? Well, let's write them out. We have three times y over here, and we have y times three over here. Okay, so they both have a y, and they both just have a single y. So, 3 times y and y times 3, or 3y and y3, these are like terms. So, why is that? Well, like we said, they both have a single y, and we don't care about the coefficients. Yes, this one over here is basically in reverse order, but when we multiply things together, the order doesn't really matter, right? Because if I had 3 times 5, that's equal to 15. Well, what if I had five times three? Well, same thing, right? Still 15. So the order that we multiply things in doesn't matter. So we have three Y here, we have Y three here, it's still the exact same thing. And if we wanted to, we could even rewrite this one so it matches this one. So we could write this one as three Y and we could flip this one as three Y. Because again, if we flip this one, as you can see, it doesn't change your answer, right? 
flipping multiplication around still gives you the exact same answer, right? So whether I write it as y3 or 3y, it's still the exact same thing. Okay, and lastly, from our terms, we have x squared and negative 4x squared. So x squared and negative 4x squared. Okay, are these like terms? Well, they have the same variable, right? There's an x here and there's an x here. And they also have the same exponent, more importantly. So this one has a 2 and this one has a 2. And remember that we have a variable here just sitting by itself with no coefficient right here next to it. So that always means there's a 1. But again, the coefficients don't matter. So even if we have a 1 here and we have a negative 4 here, these are just coefficients. If they're different, it doesn't matter. If one's positive and one's negative, it doesn't matter. So these are like terms. Okay, and I'll give you one more example. This is going to be the most complicated of the bunch that we've done so far. Okay, so here's our last example. And I think this one's really going to hit home the point of having the same variable, but the same amount of each variable. All right, so let's start with this first one. So if we had x and y right here. Okay, so this is the same thing as x times y. So we have 1x and we have 1y. Okay, so let's try and find its like term. So this next one, this one has 1x, but it has 3y's, right? So this would not match up with this first one. All right, let's go to the next one. Negative 10x squared y cubed. Well, again, we need 1x and 1y. This one has 2x's and 3y's, so not that one. What about yx? Well, yx is the same thing as y times x. But remember, we can also flip it because multiplication, the order doesn't matter, right? So we could also write x times y. So here we have the exact same thing as we do here, right? And we also have 1x, 1y, 1x, 1y. So x and y and yx are like terms. And again, it's very important to understand. So if I wanted to keep x, y like this, I could change this one to xy also, and it will not change my answer. So then I could have xy and xy. Or if I wanted to do it the other way, okay, so if I wanted to keep this yx and then I wanted to flip this one instead, I could write them both as yx and yx. Okay, the order that you multiply it in doesn't matter. What matters is that you have the same variable and the same amount of each variable. Okay, so we're done with those. Let's move on to the next one. Now here we have x, y cubed. So that's the same thing as x times y times y times y. So we have one x, three y's, right? So which one would be its like term? Well, it wouldn't be this one. Uh, could it be this one? We have x cubed y. So x cubed y, well this three is attached to the x. So here we have x times x times x, and then we just have this one y right here. So we have three x's and one y. But here we have one x and three y's. So that's actually the opposite of what we wanted, right? Because x times x times x times y is what we got over here, right? So I'm just moving it over here. We have three x's here, we have one y. And then up here we have one x and three y's. So these are not like terms. Okay, so x, y cubed and x cubed y are not like terms. Okay, so now we just have these last two to check. So we have negative 10x squared y cubed and 2y cubed x squared. Okay, so we have a negative 10 as our coefficient here. We have a 2 as a coefficient here. But again, it doesn't matter what our coefficients are, so don't worry about that. What we need to check are the x's and the y's. Okay, so we have an x squared here. Do we have an x squared here? We sure do. We have an x squared right there, okay? And then we have a y cubed right here. Do we have a y cubed right here? We sure do. Okay, so negative 10x squared y cubed and 2y cubed x squared are like terms because we have the same amount of x's and the same amount of y's, okay? And this is going to be more relevant down the road, but I want to make sure you understand this now. You can rewrite these so they match up with one another. 
So if I wanted to have the X first and then the Y after that, since I'm multiplying all these together, I can switch them, right? Because with multiplication, it doesn't matter what order you put it in. So if I wanted to keep this one, I could rewrite this one a little bit to match this one. So I could write this one on the right, I could write it as two and then x squared y cubed, right? They keep their exponent. I'm just flipping the multiplication a little bit, right? So I originally had x squared, I still have x squared, okay? Make sure you keep the exponent with its proper variable. Okay, now these look a lot more similar, right? So we have the x squared listed first and then the y cubed is listed after. So now we have the x squared listed first and then the y cubed is right after. All right guys, so that's how you identify like terms. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, please definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still got questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's a pre-algebra playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's anything else you need to check out, definitely check it out and I'll see you there.